let's see how we can rename all files in any given folder or in any directory by using VBA programming in MS Excel. So I have divided this task into two pieces. One is creating list of all files and second is renaming all files with new names. So on this sheet, you can see that I have two command buttons. Once I click on first command button, what it will do? It will create list of files in column A. So let me click on this command button. I am getting a message list of file names is created. So these are the files that I have in a specific folder. So that folder I have on my desktop. We can see this source folder here. And these are the files in that folder. I have already copied path of this folder, including the name of folder where in cell E2. Now I will copy these files or names of these files paste into column B. Now I want to rename all these files or I want to change names of these files. So there can be any logic. Let's say if I want to add ABC as prefix in these files, what I'll do equal to sign inverted commas ABC space inverted commas then sign of and or M percent selecting the cell and I can drag this formula down copy these names and right click paste special as values in column B so these are the new names for each file or maybe let's say here I can see that week one is there in some of the files I will select control F let me write week one replace by week two then click on the replace all so what is happening four names are changed where in column B so there can be any logic to change file names here these are just few files if there are like hundreds of files then we need to find logic according to the requirement now once I have provided all the new file names then I can click on the second command button I am getting a message done so let me click on ok let me see in that folder we can see that a prefix or ABC is added in front of each file name so this is just the sample of changing file names as per the logic and this logic can be anything now let's understand what is the VBA code that I have used here so I'll go to developer tab click on design mode then I will click on the first command button that is create list of files so this is the code that I have used let me explain this code dim FSO that means file system object as new file system object I have created a variable of file system object name of that variable is FSO and then second line is dim fo as folder so this is a variable of folder type we can give any name here if you don't like fo you can give any name then third is dim f as file now I want to check on my sheet the last field row for that I am creating variable dim last underscore row as integer then code to find the last field row is last underscore row equal to worksheets sheet name where I have command button 
sheet one dot cells rows dot count comma one bracket closed then and in brackets xlf dot row so this will find the last field row and when we are starting this example we have just one row that is column headings now assigning the folder name and folder path to this fo variable so what i am using is set fo equal to fso that means file system object dot get folder this is a function in brackets worksheets then sheet one dot cells within brackets two comma five dot value what is this this is the cell where i have already copied and pasted the folder path and folder name we can directly assign this also the path here so as you wish you can use it and then i am just looping through all the files in that folder for each f in fo dot files last row equal to last row plus one worksheets sheet one dot cells last row comma one dot value equal to f dot name and then next so these two lines are getting the list of file names onto the sheet one once task is done for creating list then I am selecting cell A1 by this line worksheet sheet one dot cells one comma one that is A1 dot select and finally message box MSG box list of names is created we can give any message here whatever you wish so this is how we have created the list of files or list of names on sheet from that specific folder path we have already copied in cell e2 and then we can copy and paste from column a to column b one or two logics i have already shared we can change file names manually as well it depends on your logic number of files and requirement once this column b is also filled then we can press second button that is for renaming all files let me double click on this command button so this is the code i have used here if we want to save time let me tell you till this line set fo that means folder these six lines we can directly copy from here if you want to save time and then i have created one variable dim new name as a string and then for each f into fo dot files and within this one more loop that is for loop i have used here for i equal to 2 to last row why because on sheet we already have old file names in column a and these names are starting from 2 to the any number of cells that we are finding through last row so here i am using for i equal to 2 to last row if f dot name equal to worksheets and sheet name dot cells i comma one that means if file name is anywhere in column a then then what should happen the new name new name for this variable is to be assigned from column b and then file name equal to new name this is how we are changing the or renaming the file names in that folder then closing the if statement and for these two
two looping statements closing statement of loops and then finally message box done or let me change this or anything you can give task is completed so this is how we can automate the task for renaming bulk files multiple files or all files just one thing to be remember or i would like to mention here is this is file system object and uh, uh, example of like early binding so in tools we need to we need to go to reference and here in this reference window i have already selected microsoft scripting runtime so we have to select this so that file system object with this early binding example can work without any error and this is the folder we can see that all files are renamed let me format the code so that you can make note so thanks for watching uh, this is how we can automate uh, this file renaming task if you have any question around this topic you can write into comments or you can send me email and please subscribe to my channel for getting notifications of new vba tutorials thank you